I have set up a command. And uh, for those of you that, that, that are on the Discord, for those of you that, that have been paying attention over the last couple of days, maybe week, then you will know that uh, next up on the docket, and I don't know how long we're going to play this, but I have an end point for this challenge. But uh, what we're planning on playing, for those, for those that haven't figured it out yet, is Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain. Um, and we're not just playing The Phantom Pain. We're not just playing The Phantom Pain. We're playing The Phantom Pain with a couple of mods, specifically Snakebite and Infinite Heaven. If you don't know what Infinite Heaven is, uh, then allow me to enlighten you. Uh, it is probably the best mod for the Metal Gear Solid V base game. Uh, it allows you to do a lot of things, like remove the online component, and modify a whole bunch of different variables within the game. So, um, the Phantom Pain is a much more interesting experience with the Infinite Heaven mod, depending on what you do with it. Now, to, to give a little bit of context, and I do want to make sure that, that everybody, I mean, I did put in the command, but I'm still going to explain it for the folks that that don't want to go to to Musk Machine and, and look it up. So we're doing what I'm calling a hardcore OSP challenge. Hardcore, not meaning what you think it does. Get your head out of the gutter. Uh, but basically, so I, I will give you a brief rundown of the rules or the rough guidelines that I'm going to try to play this uh, try to play this challenge by. And the reason that I say rough guidelines is there are some hard-coded limitations within Metal Gear Solid V, in spite of the fact that the previous games in the series had been about stealth and stuff like that. Like, it's still a big component of the Phantom Pain, but there are certain missions, there are certain scenarios where stealth and OSP type of playthroughs are just not possible. The base game does not support that type of play style. The base game expects you to not only be taking in a bunch of equipment with you on every single mission, but also expects you to be bringing in the best equipment you can possibly get on every single mission. We are not going to be playing the game that way. Uh, so for those of you that don't know or are not familiar with the Metal Gear Solid franchise or military jargon in particular, uh, OSP means on-site procurement. It means we are only going to be using what we find in the missions. Now, there are a few exceptions, uh, specifically for items that we have to have in order to complete some missions, and also in certain cases, like, for example, the cardboard box. The cardboard box is an interesting and fun tool, but you cannot get a box anywhere in the game. So I will, once we have them, probably be bringing in a cardboard box for missions, but I'm not going to be overusing them or abusing them or any of that. You're not going to see like glitches and, and bugs and exploits and things like that. This is, I am largely going to be playing the game as a Metal Gear game is meant to be played or is intended to be played. I will be playing Metal Gear Solid V in the spirit of the franchise. Um, the ultimate objective is for us to make it for oh no i'm sorry that that was your first time chat um unfortunately we don't do that here so goodbye um but anyway uh i i, I like i said metal gear solid 5 doesn't doesn't necessarily support an osp playthrough um but we're gonna try it anyway and i have done a playthrough like this i haven't done one quite this difficult but um, we will we will be doing this. We will be doing this. So again, to give you guys a brief overview of the rules, uh, we're doing all equipment OSP, no loadout. Again, as I said, there will be exceptions, uh, but generally speaking, we're not going in with any guns. We're not going in with any grenades. We're we're not going into any. We're we're not going in with any of the the fun toys. Uh, also. We're only going to be using the regular Tiger Camo Fatigues in Afghanistan, and we will only be using the regular OD Green Fatigues in Africa. No other uniforms are allowed for any missions. Now, the reason that I'm not just doing... Like, I know that there are some people that do challenge runs where they say, oh, we're just going to use OD Green Fatigues for everything. The reason that I don't do that is because of uh, what I'm going to get into next. 
Uh, the enemies have 150% vision in the daytime and 125% vision at night. They will see you from significantly farther away than they do in the base game at bo during both the day and the night. So, because of that, we need some kind of camouflage that works. Um, so, I have restricted myself to the tiger camo, which is meant for Afghanistan, but we're only using it in Afghanistan, and the OD green, which isn't technically, technically meant for Africa, but that's what we'll use in Africa. I may swap that out for the, the regular jungle camo, but we're basically limited to only a single camo. So no sneaking suit, no skull suit, no stealth camo, none of that shit. Just plain old uniform. Um, let's see, the only buddy allowed is gonna be the horse. D-horse is gonna be our only buddy. And I'm not going to be using him for combat, so we're not going to be putting armor and all that other goofy shit on D-Horse. The horse is mostly there as a method of transportation, so that I don't have to run everywhere on foot. Uh, we will not be taking D-Dog, and D-Dog wouldn't even be useful in this playthrough, and I'll get to that. But we're not going to be taking D-Dog, and we're not going to be taking Quiet, unless it's a requirement. Um, let's see, Minimal HUD. That's the reason D-Dog is going to be useless. Uh, no markers, no marking. So one of the key components in Metal Gear Solid V is the ability to mark enemies. In other words, use the binoculars, mark people from half a mile away, and then somehow, using magic big boss senses, you just know where they are forever. That's not realistic. We're not doing that. So no marking and no markers. I am going to have to know where people are by visual confirmation, and I'm going to have to navigate by using the map and using visual confirmation. I am not going to be able to just put a marker on the map and then ignore everything as I charge at it at full speed. I'm going to have to know where I'm going. Now, I have played a lot of Metal Gear Solid V, so I do know my way around the maps to a certain extent, but it's been a while. Um, again, enemies will have a 50% chance to drop random items. Uh, this is something that you can kind of mess with in, um, in Infinite Heaven. It's one of the settings that you can mess with. The reason that I'm giving them that is because there are certain items that you either need or that make missions very, very easy or much easier, like hand grenades, C4, tear gas, sleeping gas, all kinds of stuff like that, that you cannot get in the game. Like, they don't exist anywhere in the game world, and since we have no loadout, there's no way for us to get those items into the game. The 50% drop rate gives us the ability to get some of those items, but it's completely randomized. Completely randomized. One time you might get a grenade, the next time you might get animal bait. Or you might get nothing at all. So it's one of those things that gives me an incentive to neutralize guards, but we're not necessarily guaranteed to get something just because we neutralized a guard. So it's a risk-reward mechanic. That's why I'm building that into this challenge run. It's risk-reward. The items that we get can potentially make the game a little easier in any given mission, but we have to take the risk of neutralizing guards in order to do that. Um, here's, here's one of the big ones. Here's one of the big ones. No Fultons. No Fultons at all. No Fultons for myself, no Fultons for capturing personnel, no Fultons for resources. Now, resources aren't really going to matter anyway because we're not doing any development. I'm not going to be doing any R&D. I'm not going to be developing any weapons or equipment. So the resources don't mean anything. The resources are used for that. And we're not going to be interacting with that part of the game. So I don't need to Fulton resources. I will still pick them up when and where I can because they will be needed from time to time. How are you going to extract an entire APC team? Yeah, exactly. Um, that basically means we're not going to be able to extract vehicles. We're not going to be able to extract the, the big uh, resource containers. Um, the only way we're going to be able to extract personnel is going to be by taking them to a helicopter, which means we're going to have to be very, very selective about the staff that we collect. Uh, and that brings me into the next thing. 
This is a permadeath run. If you're not familiar with how people do permadeath runs in the Phantom Pain, uh, once the combat team is unlocked, we are going to be using only combat team personnel. If they die or fail a mission, we dismiss that soldier. And if we have to switch back to Snake, we are only switching back to Snake to collect more personnel. Snake is a cheat code in the game for a large chunk of the game. Um, so Snake is not going to be our primary method of engaging with the content, except here at the very beginning where we don't have a choice. We're going to have to play a Snake until we unlock the combat team, but once we have unlocked the combat team, we will be using only the random base personnel, and then only the ones that we're able to extract via the helicopter. Um, again, like I said, if the soldier is killed or the mission that they're on has failed, that soldier is dead. They are gone forever. Does not matter how good they are. Um, no mission restarts. Unless there's some kind of a, a bug or a glitch that prevents us from completing a mission, uh, these missions are pass or fail. Either we succeed or we die. That's, that's the other half of the permadeath style of the playthrough, is there has to be a risk. And simply hitting restart because I didn't get the perfect roll on where the enemy was, oh well, that's, that's just the way it is. So if we get an alert, we're just we're gonna have to deal with it. We're we're gonna have to fight our way through it. Um, and last but not least, the objective of this run is just to complete the main story. Um, side ops are allowed, and we will probably be doing some side ops and some free roam. Uh, but all of the same rules apply during side ops or free roam. If we do a side op and the operative gets killed, they're dead. If we do free roam and the operative gets killed, they're dead. So all of the same risks still apply even in side ops and free roam. It is, again, as close as we can get within Metal Gear Solid V, a permadeath playthrough. Um, again, and as I say on the Twitter machine, for uh, again, this is for the folks that are not reading along at home, uh, some missions, I'm going to have to bend or break those rules. I said that already, but there are just some missions that don't allow you to play that way. Like, it's not possible to complete the mission by doing it that way. Um, on those missions, we will make an exception, but by and large, in every situation where I can play by the hardcore OSP rules, we're going to. Um, I don't know why Metal Gear Solid V was designed that way. It's, it's not that the game is bad, it's just there's not that much freedom in how you play the game. Now, as for where we go from here, uh, we've been sitting here at the, the start screen for the entire time, and I apologize for that for... For those of you ADD kitties out there that, that are chomping at the bit because you haven't seen any flashing lights or sound for 10 seconds. Um, so I apologize if you have the TikTok brain. Um, but uh, there is an intro sequence. There is a prologue to this game that I have already played through. I have done that for several reasons. Number one, there's a lot of cutscenes. There's a lot of dialogue at the very beginning. I'm not going to get into that because, uh, I mean, the Phantom Pain is eight years old. Um, if you're not up to speed with what's going on in, in this story, then go play the game yourself. I highly recommend it. Uh, the other reason is there's actually quite a few copyrighted tracks in the prologue of the game, and I cannot turn them off. Even by removing, like, turning the music volume all the way down, those copyrighted tracks still play during the prologue. Um, which means that this VOD would get muted for that entire section, and if I tried to post it on YouTube, the video would immediately get flattened. So, in order to avoid those copyrighted tracks, because, you know, the DCMA or, or it, 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 the DMCA holes exist to protect their wallets, not to protect fair use. Fair use is a joke. It's a punchline to an accountant's joke. Um, so that's part of the reason that we're not going to be doing the, the prologue. So we're basically going to be jumping straight into the action. With that being said, let's actually do that so you guys don't fall asleep, shall we? Uh, again, you'll see we, yeah. we're only at 1% completion. We're only at 1% completion. Even Kojima didn't understand Metal Gear's story. Uh, I mean, I think he did. It's just he wasn't allowed to tell the story that that he was wanting to tell. And and sadly, we as the players had to suffer for that. But at the same time, given the treatment that Kojimbo and his team suffered at the hands of Konami, 
I think it was a small price to pay. If it allowed him to get out from under the thumb of what is essentially um, a mafia in the games industry in Japan, uh, I, I think it's for the best. And again, don't get me wrong, Metal Gear Solid Five is still an outstanding game. Its story is fucking batshit, and I don't mean that in a good Kojima way. But the game and the gameplay is outstanding. Uh, but again, you can see overall completion is only 1%. I literally got to the very first mission and then quit out of the game. So we're going to go ahead and continue. It's not going to give me any setup. We're just going to go straight to Afghanistan. Now I am going to have to do a little uh, menu shenanigans here at the very beginning uh, just to get us in line with the rules of the playthrough. So basically what I'm going to be doing is dropping our current equipment. And the reason that I'm doing that is because there is no native way within the game to drop equipment. And because this is a scripted mission, I don't have the ability to get rid of this equipment or otherwise start the game without it. Um, eventually that will be possible, but right now on this very first mission, it's not possible. So I'm going to have to swap in here and we're going to have to drop all of the equipment. And I apologize for that, but them's the breaks. Give me that, that now. Get, there we go. And there we go. We are now starting with no equipment. So just to confirm, we have nothing in the support weapons, nothing in the primary, nothing in this except for the night vision goggles, which I'm just not going to use. And then we have nothing down here in the secondary other than the bionic arm, which we cannot get rid of. So here we are. This is Snake. We are in Afghanistan and we are going to get underway again. We already did the thing just to confirm. I can't. You're, you're not seeing any markers. Now, all of those will show up on the map. Of course, you can see them. So I can mark things on the map as I need to, but I have to go to the map in order to do that. The sound is off. The sound is off. It is indeed because, once again, I am an idiot. There you go. You should be hearing it now. Uh, and just to confirm. Marker placed. Marker removed. Marker placed. Marker removed. Everybody hearing that okay? Outstanding. All right, so let's get underway. Let's get underway. And we are going to, as best we can, try to complete this game OSP. A bit low? Uh, I can fix that. Hold on. I can definitely fix that. Filters, let me give you guys a little bit of a sound increase. All right. Then again, you guys will have to let me know. We, we got to dial this in. I haven't played it on stream before. I apologize, so. Is that better? Do we need to go higher? Do we need to go lower? Let me know. Olin, there's a Soviet guard post. There are bound to be guards. Take a look with your binoculars. Put the enemy in the center of your field of view. Sight, so. Well, look at that. I already done fucked up. When you're near an enemy, stay low and move slowly. Whoops. There we go. There you go, equip the gun. We're not off to a great start, Chad. We're not off to a great start. Guard 
outpost captured. Don't leave bodies out in the open. Find some place to drop them out of sight. And there we go. We already got a sleep grenade. Although it's not going to be super useful for us considering the fact that the enemy already knows that we're here. Uh, another mod that you may or may not have noticed is a mod that I think is essential for Metal Gear Solid 5. And uh, that is going to be the mod that returns the game back to having actual fucking guns and not all of this made up bullshit that they put into Metal Gear Solid 5. So this is an AKS-74. It is, in fact, an AKS-74. This is actually a Makarov. The model is a Makarov. Because goddammit, it's a travesty what they did to the weapons in this game. There we go. So we're we're gonna attempt to do this a little bit better. You're almost at the enemy outpost via low village. Or I guess a little less shit is the better way to put it. Start with some recon. Is there anywhere that overlooks the village? Now I have not played Metal Gear Solid 5 to the point where I have memorized like every patrol route of every enemy on every single mission. Uh, so I am going to have to play this kind of by the seat of my pants. Uh, unfortunately, because we already fucked up at the very beginning of this, uh, this, this, uh, as you can see, they, they already know that I'm in the vicinity and they're already on alert. So that's that's going to make this a much more difficult infiltration, sadly. And as I said before, I very clearly misjudged the 150% during the daytime. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to fuck myself on this, at least initially. I, I'm not really used to how far away these guys can see me from. But, there's no restarts. No restarts. Let's not get distracted. I often get tunnel vision. Oh, I, I think I might have fucked up. I, I have made a mistake. I have made a huge mistake. Again, not not off to a legendary start. Not off to a legendary start just yet. Those materials are already processed. They should come in handy sooner or later. Why not start gathering them? Um, I certainly could have done this better. Certainly could have done this better. Untactical, exactly, exactly. You notice I still left that tag on because we're we're gonna be very untactical. So you picked up an intel file. Extraction. Now we know where Miller is. I'm marking it on your eye All right. Uh, wait a minute. It's downstairs, isn't it? Isn't it? Ow! Hey! I can do that too, butthole. Oh, well. Okay. Uh, let me see. Potentially copyrighted music? Check. Uh, 
All right. Well, now that we've committed cold-blooded murder at the very beginning... I'm thinking... You know what? I know I have the setting turned on, but I don't know if it's gonna pay dividends. I have a setting turned on in Infinite Heaven that makes it possible for stuff to spawn in the back of trucks, but, uh, sadly, it does not look like we got anything this time around. Where you at, horse? Come on, horse. Horse, stop. Horse, horse, stop it. Alright. Let us, let us continue. I mean, to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even have to come in here. Like, I didn't even have to come to this spot because I already know where I'm supposed to go, but... I did it mostly to get my sea legs, so to speak. Anytime you need advice, just give me a call. Is it cold-blooded murder, murder if it's against the Soviets? Yes. Absolutely. Like, murder is murder. There's not really any two ways about that. Yeah. Not that I'm trying to justify anything that the Soviets did in Afghanistan, yeah. but it's still murder. Yeah. Now, speaking of I'm not gonna do, you know, yeah. the cheesy stuff, I am gonna see if I can cheese yeah. this mission. I'm not gonna be able to... So, one of the things that you can do to cheese this mission if you replay it is to just avoid the landing zone where the skulls ambush you. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that. But what I can do instead... One day. They've got Miller locked up in that town. What I can do instead is kind of sneak my way in here. Except, unfortunately, they're already alerted, so that's gonna make this a lot more difficult. It's funny, I keep saying, oh man, this is gonna be harder because they already know I'm coming. And then, um... I do other dumb things that then immediately raise the alert level so that they... So that they're even higher alert than they were before. All right, horse. You and me, we got a job to do. Yeah. We're gonna take this nice and slow, and I'm hoping that it's gonna work. It probably won't, but I hope that it will. I am not gonna fault in the sheep. I don't even think we can fault in the sheep yet. I think I think you have to upgrade it the first time before you can fault in the sheep. I could be wrong. Where's the health bar? Does it heal automatically? With what? What? Buddy, I don't know if you're serious or not right now. No, Me Metal Gear 5 is, is not that kind of game. There is no health bar. Oh, hell. Why are you coming this way? Don't come this way. Alright, let's see here. Let's see here. I know how to stealth mode. Just because I didn't do it doesn't mean I don't know how. I gotta see where this guy... What, what, what is this guy doing? Where is he going? Please move, horse. Please move, horse. Or don't move. That works, too. Where did the... Where, where did he... Where did the... Oh, wow. He He's, like, going on an adventure. Okay. Oh. Yeah. He's just... He's just running off. Doing his own thing. Alright. Was Five the one with the dog that stabbed people? Uh, yes, eventually. You, you can, in fact, have... You can have a dog that stabs people. Alright, let's... Let's see if we can sneak past these guys. 
We're gonna have to hope that the camo and everything else can do the job for us. Again, this would have been much easier if I hadn't if I hadn't been dumb and untactical. Stabs people with teeth. No, stabs people with a knife. If you didn't know, I mean, I know this isn't this isn't really like a news flash for longtime Metal Gear fans, but if you didn't know, uh, Metal Gear is a fever dream of a franchise. You can give your dog tactical gear and train him to stab people with a knife. The shitty thing is, because I've alerted everyone to my presence, it's gonna make it a whole lot harder, yeah, to sneak in here. Like, normally they wouldn't be on alert and I'd be able to kind of sneak around a little bit. Uh, not so much anymore. I might be able to do something here. I might be able to do something here. Shite, shite, shite! Well, that was close. That was extremely close. Don't turn around just yet, please. That's the building, boss. That's where they're holding Miller. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. Thank you. We are, we are in the danger zone, boys. We are in the fucking danger zone. Don't worry, Miller. I'm here. Just, just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Third person camera is cheating. Kind of. Well, shit. Things are about to get a lot more interesting. I'm trying not to just kill everyone in every outpost, but... Uh... It's, it's kind of just working out that way. It's kind of just working out that way. One, two. Is that it? I know there's more dudes in this outpost. Sorry, I, I had to kill the, ro the the music so that I could better hear what's going on around me. I don't speak Russian yet. Who do I get? Okay, I've only got, I've only got nine rounds for the Makarov. Alright, Miller. Let's get you out of here, buddy. No more use for me, huh? Cause it's me. I'm here to get you out. Snake. They do something to your eyes? No, it's... It's just bright as all. Well. Aw, they're having a moment. What took you so long? We'll talk, but not here. Another thing to note, 
um, just FYI, and and I didn't put it in the in the limitations. I am only playing with 50% health, so I die very quickly. And that may not seem relevant right now, but it will be very shortly. Look, it's the guy. Yeah, it's the guy. You look well. Cage hasn't slowed you down one bit. Not so heavy anymore, right? Magic words, boss. I've been waiting nine years to hear them. Kept you waiting, huh? Come on. Say it for all time's sake. It makes me sad that they don't actually give you the option to say the line. Like, this man's is literally in pieces, and they don't let you... They, they, they don't let you say the thing. He's like, say the thing, and, and Steak is just like, nope. Okay, let's, let's attempt to use the building as cover. How this guy manages to stay on the back of this horse when it's bouncing around like that, I have no idea. And this is where this fairly reali realistic game goes off its fucking gourd right at the beginning. See the shark chat? Get ready, because we're going to jump it. And there we go. We have officially jumped the shark. Kiss that shark goodbye, because we ain't going to see it again for a while. Boss, watch out. It's the skulls. Don't let them find us. Boss, yeah. whatever that mist is, it's all around you. We can't see through it. I'm changing the RV so it's outside the mist. Get over there. The chopper will be waiting. There is a way to do this with stealth. We ain't doing that. I mean, I'm gonna try, but we're gonna fail. Yeah, that's what I thought. In case you weren't keeping score, that dude just pulled out a Thompson. Because... Look. The game's already not realistic. Again, in a series that consistently goes off its fucking door, this game, this game was a little bit, uh, extreme, even for Kojimbo. Stock missile launcher sound, by the way, whenever they jump. There we go. Those things. Yeah. It's the unit that attacked us before. They came at us real fast in the same kind of mist. I bet. Survivors from nine years ago were wiped out. Right. And it's no matter what they want, want, but it's them. This is a mistake. An obstruction at the LZ preventing me from landing. <laughs> 
Miller, I, I know I know you, you have a lot to say. We haven't seen horse. Horse. Hey, buddy. I, I know we haven't seen each other in a while and you probably got a lot you want to talk about, but like read the room, dude. We're we're I'm I'm busy. I'm busy right now. Okay, now you can tell me all about your adventure. This series has always been ridiculous. Yes, correct. Ah, shit. They pulled in the horse. Challenge failed, Chet. Challenge fucking failed. They pulled in the horse. God damn it. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Oof. Oof. That's an official fucking oof. Ah. Uh, could I have done that better? Yes. Could I have done it... way better? Also yes. Yeah, Die Hardman, Hot Coldman, Left Rightman. Just saying. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. Look, Swift Draw, it's not all about the brand, okay? I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. But but branding is important. We can call home. <sighs> yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. See this? Diamond Docks. Our new home. That was, uh, that was south. Kojima's version of a beat drop, by the Triumph. way. Death. We weren't allowed either. Yeah. I remember it all. Sort of stopped MGS at three. Was this too much bad Tom Clancy? Yeah, I mean, I will say Kojimbo and Metal Gear in particular are not for everyone. It is not everyone's cup of tea, so I, I, I can understand that. Yeah, the good old double Ds. I mean, I don't know if I explained this to you guys before, but uh, I sat down with somebody once and we actually figured out uh, what the three sizes of this model are. And um, I'm not going to tell you because I have to have some shame, but uh, Double D doesn't, doesn't quite cover it. It all ends soon, exactly as I've planned. Regards to your boss when you get home. Yeah, they, they played us like a damn didgeridoo. Like a damn violin. For for those of you that are not American, a fiddle Snake. is a violin. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. I've lost. Yep, he said the thing. Party. He said the thing. Roll credits. It's like they're all still there. You feel it too, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A 
group above nations, even the U.S. And I was the parasite below, feeding off Zero's power. Next, he's going to be telling me about chemtrails. They came after you in Cyprus. In Afghanistan. Cypher just keeps growing. Swallowing everything in its path. Getting bigger and bigger. Who knows how big now? Boss. I'm gonna make him give back our past. Take back everything that we've lost. And I won't rest. Until we do. Watch your mother base. Also, can we just, for a second, can we talk about how well that windbreaker is sticking to his shoulder with absolutely nothing to hold it there? Like, he, he doesn't have an arm under that windbreaker, so he's not holding it with the arm. Yet somehow he's in a helicopter in motion, and that shit hasn't blown out the side door yet. That's impressive. Tell me. Tell me like you used to. Get used to that. You're you're gonna see it a lot. Yeah, we're riding in a silenced helicopter. They're not wearing headsets and yet they can hear almost everything. It's uh again, video games. Yeah, stealth helicopter. Stealth helicopter. Um the game might have crashed. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. I have no idea what that was. Like, this is an eight-year-old game. It shouldn't be taking that long to load. That That is a problem. Infinite Heaven does occasionally crash the game. Yeah, let's pause for a dramatic effect. I absolutely believe that. With Kojimbo? Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just to combat Cypher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. But we're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. And for those that are curious, like, why am I watching all the cutscenes? Um, for those that don't know, there's... I Like, I can count the number of fully animated cutscenes in this game without taking off my shoes. So I'm gonna let you... I'm gonna let you enjoy the ones that they bothered to put in here. Dogs of war for nine whole years. That ends today. Uh, ninety percent of the story. Ninety percent of the story and dialogue is delivered through fucking audio logs and radio conversations in this game. So, I'm, I'm gonna let you enjoy what little bit of effort they put into the few cutscenes that are there. Build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Kaz. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. Do you think Miller gives a shit how you justify it? He doesn't give a damn. He wants revenge. If you're doing it for the future, as long as he still gets the revenge, that's what matters. That's all he cares about. Your upper lip is cringe, fighty. Can I- I 
can't skip this. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to do the tutorial. Boss, there's something I want to talk about. It concerns the UK. This baseball Not yet, I haven't. Make diamond dogs the force it deserves. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good... Can I... You, st you, st you really... Are you gonna Whether really make me do this? Up. Oh look, it's the tutorial for the thing that we're not going to use. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. I know what it is, Ocelot. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? Don't pull any punches. I don't. Don't pull any. Don't pull any. He says don't pull any punches, chat. Don't pull any pu don't pull any pu He said don't pull any punches. One way of doing it. Now extract. He said don't pull any punches. I I was just giving him what he wanted. I don't blame me. I was going to shoot him with a tranquilizer gun. Only Fulton recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. The staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye droid. Can we not do this, Ocelot, please? Select staff management. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a oh, look it's at the not as toxic list. as you think, Select Jacob. Weapons, items, if I do that under normal circumstances, head. they'll actually thank me for it. Oh, are you really? Are you really? Please That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more the last staff word, on the team. Chad. Go extract a few The box. More people. The ultimate infiltration boss, put tool. put the droid away for a moment. God damn it, I'm talking to Chad. You, you leave me the fuck alone, Ocelot. individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's done. It's oh, you mean... Try throwing them. Y you it's mean the like knock out the thing that I just did? Okay, other again. Excellent, box. Now extract it. Okay. Good. Extraction complete. Arrived at One thing I should mention: a Fulton extraction won't always be successful. If the person is injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather's unfavorable, well, it could end up going missing. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All okay, right. but extract here's extract. my question, Ocelot. I get judged harshly when I kill people, you know. Because apparently I'm not allowed to kill people in a fucking war zone. But let me ask you this. Mr. Big Brain, Mr. Mr. I'm um, the the me. most Texas. I'm so fucking Texas. I shit ten gallon hats. Except you're from Russia, motherfucker. Let me ask you this: If I extract the dude and he dies, or as you say in air quotes, goes missing, then do I still get penalized for that? Does that still count as me being a demon and and you know, God forbid, shooting a motherfucker in a war zone? Does does it count as that? Like. Inquiring minds want to know. Tell me. Tell me, Ocelot. Tell me the rules of this this magic fucking morality system that you've invented in your head. Asshole. If there are multiple Let's adversaries nearby, perform CQC on them in quick succession. This allows you to take them all out before any of them can strike back. I'm ready, boss. Technically, Poland is the European taxes. He's not from Poland. Oh, 
He's not from Poland. God damn you and your iDroid. Select weapons Can items. You now select project. cardboard box and start development. You're lucky Your it's a box. Development has finished. Oh, it's it's gonna make me request the fucking Please supply drop. You can have the support point. unit supply you with weapons and items you've Supplies developed. Think requested. of it as your own personal delivery. Supply service. drop complete. I where's where's the marker for where it's gonna land? Oh right, because no markers. I was gonna try to stand directly underneath it so I could hit myself in the head with it, but I think it lands right here, ish. I don't remember. I don't know. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. Damn it. And there it is. Not sure what it's good for, I should have just held the line. You know I should have just stayed where the fuck out. I was at. One last thing. The staff members you extracted were all placed on the R and D team, but that was Miller's. You think they belong somewhere else? You're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Or no the shit. when you're ready for a mission. Open your iDroid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while. Give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. I hear the helicopter. Where is it coming from? This is B-Quad. On station at LZ. Go ahead and hang out next to that orange construction sign. Negative. I'll tell you what I will do though. We need to take a shower. We got all bloody killing dudes in that last mission. Now, it's like it never even happened. Ocelot, like, has a specific group of people that he calls over there to do the salute whenever I leave? Or does he just, like, is there, like, an APB system where he just hits a little button and it's, like, fucking the four nearest people immediately get an alert telling him to report to the helipad so they can salute the boss as he leaves? Like, I get that Ocelot fangirls over Big Boss so fucking hard. But, like, has been added. the logistics of how that works, to me, is a little bit... Like, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, we, we got a... We got a no rank on the tutorial. That's disappointing. By the way, so for those of you that were in one of the- ah, there was one of the MechWary streams where I made a joke about Kojima. Where I was like, you know, a, a game by Hideo Kojima, written direct- written by Hideo Kojima, directed by Hideo Kojima, and starring Hideo Kojima as Hideo Kojima. This game is the game that I was referencing when I made that joke. For the record. I also love showering with my clothes on. Yeah, man. You never done it? Give it a try sometime. Mission list updated. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I've prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. And here's here's the story of Metal Gear Solid 5. As presented in fucking tapes. Th this is the entire game right here. No, I'm not going to make you listen to it. But I also don't like uh, the constant annoying pop-up that's telling me I need to listen to tapes. All right. Missions. Mission Please list. Select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk Let's do this one first. But they help you get back on your feet. We're gonna we're gonna do some uh Yeah, presenting Hideo Kojima as Hideo Kojima. We'll receive GMP for completing missions and extracting soldiers and prisoners will I'm sorry. Building up mother base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. 
I hope you rest it up. Because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. Uh, let me see. For any of you that, that know uh, the answer to this question... I'm trying to remember how to do the, the OSP from the menu thing. OSP menu, there we go. Sadly, this menu does not open up until you get to this part of the game where you're actually in the helicopter for the first time. Actually, you know what? There's there's a better way to do this. There's a better way to do this. Um I think There's supposed to be And I forget where it is. I forget where it is. There's supposed to be a thing that adds a mission prep menu. There's supposed to be a thing that allows you to, um, to select nothing. I don't remember where it is, though. really weird like it's not in here and I don't think it's under player restrictions made my way here from YouTube figured I finally catch stompy robots Metal Gear Solid is a surprise but a welcome one well beardy the great good to see it glad to have you and thanks for coming over from the YouTube lands hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend so far yeah we're mixing it up a little bit we just finished up the the ongoing career um, for MechWarrior 5, so we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, but of course, we're we're well, we will we will go back to bet to Baltic, I promise. Just doing something a little bit different today. Um, mission prep features. Yeah, I don't know where it is. It's it's very very bleh, you know. All right, we'll clear the weapon, and we'll do that. We'll do that for now. I'll I'll figure out what it is later. I'll figure out how to do that later. I don't remember how, but there is a way to do it. I just I just gotta remember how to do it. Uh, in the meantime, Please select a mission. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. Are you gonna let me do it now? You're still not gonna let me do it. That, that is unfortunate for a whole bunch of different reasons. I, like, I thought there was a button I could hit to just remove. I'll do that so we're not wasting resources we don't have. See, like this, I can select none. But for the weapons, it doesn't let me do that. All right. And we've already got the camo, but I'm going to I'm going to remove the the goofy scarf. Where we we don't need no scarf. Actually, you know what? Do I have any head options? No, not yet. That's unfortunate. We're gonna be night owls, chat. We're gonna have to be. It's the only advantage we've got. It's the only advantage we've got. We are not be in the mission prep screen. Uh, so Kaloski, by default, you cannot unequip weapons. This is what I mean when I say Metal Gear Solid V doesn't really want you to play OSP missions. Um, I have heard that the reason for that is that Konami originally planned to sell a DLC that let you play through the missions OSP after they figured out a, we a way to balance them. Um, 
but then because there was such a backlash to the the story and everything, they didn't do that. Um, also, yes, we will be going in with nothing. So right now, uh, as you can see, I have no weapons, I have no equipment. Um, that's, there's a way to select it from the mission prep screen, but I don't remember how to do that. You have to set it up at the beginning of the game. I'll go look through that later. But for right now, I'm using Infinite Heaven to just automatically... Oh! It, it's Dog. Hi, Dog. Hello, Dog. I failed the run, but I'm not gonna leave the dog. Gotta start getting ready to head out for my sister's birthday dinner. Well, alright, Vin. It was good to see you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Glad you could join us on a Saturday, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the birthday dinner goes well. Give your sister our best, and, uh, be sure to wish her a happy birthday for us. Oh, mate, let me get that mouse cursor off the screen. And I see you, Ben, right before you head out. Hydration incoming. Yep, we Fulton one horse, four dudes, and a dog in this no Fulton run. Listen. Uh, if you're the kind of heartless piece of shit that's gonna leave a dog starving in the wilderness, then, you know what? Maybe, maybe you're the one to do this run, friend aid, okay? I don't speak that. I am not leaving a good boy to starve, alright? And if it means I gotta ruin my no Fulton run, then so be it. No regrets. No regrets. Yeah, I have no idea what they said. If Sierra was here, he knows a little bit of Russian. He might be able to translate for you guys. Oh, shit. Alright. Was there... Shit. Alright, let's see. Uh, we can't interrogate these guys. So then the immediate question becomes... How do we neutralize? The answer is a lot simpler than you're probably imagining. And this is what I mean by... The game doesn't really know how to handle OSP playthroughs. As stupid as it sounds, this dude will stay here forever. He will never fucking move. Those materials have already been processed. It may not be much, but we can use them straight away. Unless, to bring them back unless to base. there's an alert in his area, in which case he will get up and attempt to fight. Again, it's kind of dumb, but that's going to be 
absolutely essential to our we success. Use compounds from plants to make medicine or poison for use in new weapons and equipment. Come on, horse. Take a look at the plants list on your iDroid to see which ones we need. Then go find them if you get the chance. It'll keep the staff happy too. <laughs> Just evac them. No, 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 crappy sniper. Remember, we're, we're not using Fulton. Development project has been added. We're not using Fulton. So if I was going to extract those dudes, I would have to extract them by calling in a helicopter. If I remember right, there's a... There's a little crack somewhere. Did I already pass it up? I thought there was... Oh, uh, maybe, maybe it's a little farther up. Maybe it's a little farther up. It's supposed to be like a crack in one of these things that I can climb up. What the hell? Yeah. What, what the hell? Yeah. Do you... Are you guys seeing that? Okay, is it just me or does it seem like the animation and the sound for d is playing slightly faster than it should be? That's really weird. That crack would make a good foothold. You can use crack climbing to make your way up. Don't try this at home, kids. It's a great way to dislocate your fucking fingers. And we got some pooches over here, which I'm gonna attempt to avoid, but they're probably gonna end up attacking me anyway. Say, hey, boss, you see many animals in the field. Truth is, an environmental NGO has asked us to remove one. Yeah, we're gonna get attacked. If you have the time, can you extract some back here? There's a reward. Don't do it. Us. Don't do it. Don't do it. You did that to you. Also a great way to die. Yeah, when you're 50 feet up in the air and then you literally rip one of your own fingers off and fall to your death? Yeah. Yeah? Also known as absinthium. That's used to make your phantom cigars. Those are raw diamonds. And voila, rolling into the chat with a 10-month resubscription saying heart you. Well, I heart you too, Walla. Thanks for dropping by on a Saturday, and thank you for the 10 months of continued support. Again, you guys do not have to do that, but for those of you that choose to support the channel, thank you for supporting me, supporting the channel, and supporting the community. And again, uh, thank you for that 10 months. Uh, especially, you know, I it's... It's not that I give you guys preferential treatment, but for those of you that have been around since the very beginning, thank you guys so much. Thank you for putting your confidence in me. All right. Made it. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. Huh. You don't have any explosives on you, do you? You'll either have to steal some from the enemy, or call in a supply drop from your iDroid. Miller, if you don't mind, you think you could let me quarterback this thing, maybe? What do we have? What did, what did we pick up? We picked up a petrol bomb. That's, that's not really gonna help. Shit. Did she say Saturday or Saturday? My hearing is getting worse. I mean... I'm from Texas. My enunciation is not great, even on a good day. No, 
know, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not playing this particular Metal Gear for the story, Megas. I'm playing it because the gameplay is actually really good. Like, this game plays very well. It is ridiculous. The story even more so. But gameplay-wise, it's outstanding. There's a couple of different ways that we can do this. But what I really need is a grenade. Um, I'm hoping that Homeboy here will give me what I need. I'm hoping I can get a grenade off of him. I'm also hoping that we don't get seen in the process. In case you couldn't tell, I'm that great at this game. Ah, uh, look at that. Look at that. Now here's the deal. This is absolutely gonna alert them. I don't especially care though, is the thing. I don't know how long he's gonna be knocked out. Accents aside, love southern accents. I thought since no mech warrior fight it was bad day. No, we just finished up the career. We finished up the mod in Korea that we were working on. That's all it was. Shite. I would really appreciate it if you did not do that. Yeah, go ahead. And we're just gonna do that number right there. You run out of explosives. And there we go. You've completed your objective. Now get out of the hot zone. Now we gotta get GTFO. That's gonna be the Mission tough part. Has been updated. Now that they're all on alert. <laughs> then again, they're all gonna be going the other way, so let me let me see if I can beat feet this direction. This is probably not going to work as well as I'm imagining. Good news, can't outrun since campaign's ended. Correct. We're just going to... We're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. Get used to crawling on your belly in this, uh, in this difficulty setting, because... It's about the only way you're going to be able to get anywhere. <gasps> Shite. Sorry, buddy. We out. Horse. 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 I was hoping we could get away with that, but, uh... You can't let them follow you. Throw off the enemies on your tail. Sadly, that, that man's died for no good reason. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission complete. Great work. I don't know why the hell I got a B for that. That's not true. I know exactly where I gotta be for that. Only one casualty. I count that as a positive. 
Jewturn says, Hey Maria, been watching your vanilla Mech Warrior 5 playthrough. I'm hoping to catch up with you soon. Well, Jewturn, um, the good news is we just finished up the career today, uh, that particular career. Um, so if you're still following along on the YouTube lands, then uh, just keep watching and eventually you will catch the end of the campaign. Um, the bad news is... Well, I guess, I don't know, is that, is that good news? Is that bad news? I don't know. The good news is we are playing something else. We're playing a little Metal Gear Solid 5 today, doing a hardcore OSP playthrough. Um, just to mix it up. But don't worry, we will absolutely be going on to play some more Mech Warrior and probably more BTA. And, and I'm sure there will be many more Mech games in my future. So uh, if you came for the Mech Warrior, sorry that you missed it. But feel free to stick around while we get into some stealth espionage action how you feeling boss but thanks for joining us glad to have you and again hopefully the weekend is treating you well your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of afghanistan i've gone ahead and arranged let's go chrome hounds don't tempt me with a good time friend aid don't you tempt me with a good time equipment for d-horse if you like use your eye droid to start development as needed Well, look at that. For a long time in the field is bad for the body and mind. I think it's time you took a break. Do it for me. Miller. Come back to Mother Base ASAP. Miller, look, my dude. I went on one, one singular, uno, one fucking mission, my dude. And it took me all of 10 minutes. And most of that time was just spent waiting for the right time. What the hell? prolonged time. I spent more time on the fucking helicopter than I did in the field. What are you talking about? It, it's because they have to show us a cutscene. That, that's why. That's the mechanical reason. Didi, come back. There you go. We came back for good boy. Mitch, here's the dog you brought back. Bit of a troublemaker. Not sure about the breed, though. He'll get bigger? Uh huh. Like this. You know, I can. Yes, look after Doggo. Best boy. Best boy. He's still a pup, so he doesn't listen. I have a feeling someday he'll be useful. I suspect you discovered a real diamond in the rough. The little polish. I say we got a true diamond dog on our hands. He said the thing. He said the thing. DD, right. And Off interestingly enough, Fine. Dog breaks the fucking game. Come on, DD. Like if you're familiar with the way that MGS5 normally plays, Dog is Busted. Dog is cheat codes. Whoa. Normally, we watch YouTube, but since discovering you and the biz going on with Warframe, oh, I didn't realize Warframe had a thing going on. Decided to give Twitch a chance. Well, you know, Twitch is its own ecosystem with its own memes, its own personalities. Um, it's definitely different if you if you primarily consume your media through YouTube, but uh, different isn't necessarily bad. It just depends on your preference. Welcome back, boss. <laughs> Thanks for that, boss. See, I told you. <laughs> Thanks for that, boss. They thank you for that. Thank you, sir. May I have another? You can have as many as you want, buddy. As many as you want. God damn it! I know how the eye droid works, you fuck stick. Roger. Mother base is a bunch of kinky freaks. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. You just mad kinky. I mean, yeah. So, you wanna fight me about it? Throw hands, Jake! Throw hands! Let's go! Game Master says, Fun Mer, when I was looking for a job in space. Yeah, there you go! 
Game Master popped in during uh, during some of my very first streams back when I was playing Delta V. Delta V. That's a you know we should go back and play Delta V sometime. I haven't played Delta V in a while. You know, another game I thought about playing a little bit of, because I've been, I've been getting the itch. Yeah, the asteroid mining game. Uh, more of a realistic, uh, crunchy, physics-based take on a asteroid mining game. Um, but another game I've been thinking about doing was, uh, Hard Space Shipbreaker. We get, we all think about Hard Space Shipbreaker. Doing a little ship salvage. Side ops list updated. By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own Aerial Command Center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. Yeah, I, I, I like me some hard space. I like me some hard space. So let's see. In case you were in case you were curious what the chick means. Every time you get one of the code names, it will tell you what that code name means. I mean, you can clearly see this is an ostrich, this is a butterfly, this is a dog. Like, you can tell what they are, but it tells you how to get them or how you got them after you've already picked them up. So Definitely, if you're feeling a chill stream. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, hard space is a good way to unwind right up until you accidentally clip a reactor and blow yourself up. Um, like, normally, hard space is, is, is a pretty chill vibe. It is indeed. Maybe by Delta V, now I'm 50 hours deep. Well, uh, I mean, at the same time, I, I like Delta V. It's, it's a little bit of an indie game, but you know what? I like it. I like the way that, uh, you know, it takes physics and and the, you know, Delta V in the name into account. Um, it's one of the central game mechanics. Uh, I like the fact that it, uh, it goes out of its way to deal with inertia. And how heat and things like that actually affect things in space where there's no gravity. Um, it's, it's actually a really cool game. Like, if you haven't checked it out, check out Delta V. You can get it pretty cheap and it's, it's a damn good space mining sim. Solid Croquet says, good play. Well, thank you. So, thank you, Solid Croquet. Appreciate it. I mean, I'm, I'm pronouncing it the way I think it should be pronounced, but if it's Crockett, let me know. Solid Crockett. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Names on the internet are weird. I mean, I guess we could do R&D. It's just R&D is going to be useless because we're not actually taking any equipment into the field. Let me see. Let me see. Um, emblem. Emblem. You know, that, never mind. There's no point. I remember now there's no point in doing an emblem because you have to go online in order for it to save and load the emblem. And since I'm in forced offline, that's, that's not a thing. Been lurking, but it's close to Arma time. Gotta get prepped and ready. Talk to you later. Remember, whoa All the time. Every time. Correct. Correct. Well, thanks for hanging out with us here. Glad to have you. Hopefully you enjoyed your time. And uh, good luck with the Arma Ops. Hopefully they treat you well. Uh, remember to make sure that if you're going to stack up the bodies, that you keep the reporters away. It's only a war crime if you get caught. Keep that in mind. Yeah, Lone Wolfie, uh, we, we're doing this just to mix things up a little bit. We finished up the... Uh, we finished this up. Finished up the ongoing MechWarrior 5 career, so I figured we would uh, mix it up a little bit. Are there non-lethal rounds in this game? There are many, many non-lethal options in the Phantom Pain. Most of them are completely ridiculous and unrealistic. Mission accepted. And um, let's see. I feel like Heading we're gonna go in to this way. Splatterheck. Splatter cat. 
has some reviews on Delta V. You are correct, Crappy Sniper. And in fact, it's thanks to Splat that I even ever found out about Delta V. Like, he is the reason I know about Delta V. Uh, I saw his, like, preview of the early access version, shit, five, six years ago, something like that, and I started following the game, and I do not regret my purchase. I go back from it. I go back to it from time to time. Do not Boss, regret my purchase. Soviet engineer is being held prisoner at the Watson barracks. I mean, I've said this before. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. I've said this before, but, uh... He's offered his technical many, many of the safety. games in my library are thanks, at least on the indie side. Uh, many of Force my games in, in my library are thanks to Splat. Yeah, glory to the Nerdcast. Glory to the Nerdcast. If you don't know Splattercat, if you don't know who he is, be sure to check him out. Splattercat is awesome. He is... Uh, yeah, he, he's a real games journalist. He does what games journalists used to do and should do in that he takes a realistic, unbiased look at games and tells you what he thinks about them. Uh, which is a thing that games journalists haven't done in over a decade. So, did he get hacked? It's been a while since I was part of the Nerdcast. I mean, he did get hacked. That does occasionally happen to people on YouTube. Like, it's unavoidable. It's gonna happen. It just happens to bigger names because they make more money. Um, but that was a while back. Unless it happened to- Are you fucking serious? Well, better keep climbing. Better keep climbing. Better keep climbing. But yeah, as far as I know, that, that has since not been a thing. I'm pretty sure he got all of this stuff sorted out. Again, could be wrong. He might have been hacked again recently, but if you've been gone for a while, yeah. Still want to try and make a knights? Maybe. Maybe. Never's a long time. Never is a long time. Yeah, unbiased until it has dwarves. Yeah, if the game has got dwarves in it, uh, he's automatically going to give it a higher score than he normally would. But that's okay, the man knows what he likes. I can respect it. All right, well, unfortunately, because of shenanigans, the entire fucking base is now on alert. So that's gonna make this a lot more difficult than it needed to be. I'm sorry, crappy sniper, did, did you just sully? Did you just sully rock and stone by trying to combine it with orcs? I mean, I appreciate what you tried to do there, but y you can't... No. Nah. Unacceptable. Y you cannot... Rock and stone is sacred, my friend. There we go. I failed the run, Chad. I have a feeling we're gonna die on this one. Subject is in. That's just me fucking around, by the way. We're 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 not trying to go for a world record or anything here, so. Think about doing another run through the remakes. Remakes like, wait, what remakes? An RE remakes, my bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, Resident Evil remakes are okay. Uh, I mean, two was really good. Four was really good. Three was okay. Chat, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble, Chad. Go away. Yeah. Something something Russian something. 
God bless America. You're supposed to stick to cover. You eye-patched idiot. Stick to the cover. Uh, I mean, friend aid, there, there are mixed opinions on the Twin Snakes. There are some people that love it, and there are some people that really fucking hate it. Thank you for making that mistake. I was just thinking how I needed a gun. Alright. Well, this definitely could have gone better. As as I have been saying for all of the missions, could have gone better. Definitely could have gone better. It's alright, we're not dead. Excuse you? Oh, alright. I mean, if you're gonna do that... Never played a Metal Gear game, but the guy you got with a balloon busted my gut. Ho ho, you turn. Uh, if you're not familiar with not only the Metal Gear series, but Metal Gear Solid Five in particular, uh, then you, you, you are in for a ridiculous fucking treat. Uh, the Fulton system, while based on real-life prototype technology, was never implemented, and for good reason. I cannot Boss, believe that fucking word. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting that to work. I cannot believe that fucking works. Yeah, no, you're not wrong. I mean, Metal Gear is Tom Clancy if it was done by Michael Bay. That's a great way to put it. Son of a bitch. Excuse you? Well, things just got interesting. I want this room. Faster, 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 faster. That no, 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 no. Oh god damn it! It didn't even give me the fucking. It didn't even give me the credit for the lock pick. Well, shit. We're gonna have to do this the hard way. Don't forget, chat, no Fultons. No Fultons. Yellow swag. Ah, hell. I wasn't it. I was expecting him to come in the back door. I wasn't expecting him to come in the front door.
So even though I said we weren't going to do restarts, we, we have to. Like, normally this would be the point where if I were playing with a combat team person, uh, we would be uh, essentially dismissing that person because they are quote-unquote dead. Boss, the Soviet engineer is being held prisoner at the Watson barracks. You need to find him and get him out. He tried to defect from the base camp up north, but it didn't work out. Now they're holding him at Watson. He's offered his tactical... That's the Waxin Barracks. The target is somewhere inside that outpost. The Soviets consider him a traitor now, so he'll be treated like any other prisoner. Chat like a dog. Yeah. 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 We got spanked pretty hard on that one. We got spanked pretty the hard on that one. Updated. This is the real Fulton pain. Yeah, no, it really is. Like, that's the thing is, normally this mission's really easy, because you just take the dude over to the thing where there's that hole in the roof, and then you just, you know, hey, there you go. Whoop, Fulton, he's out. You're good. Um, yeah, we're not Fultoning anybody. So, uh... So that means not only do I have to get in here and get this guy, I then have to find a way to get him back out. And and yes, I'm aware. I'm aware of what you tried to do there, Elijah. Shame on you, first of all. Like, I know that I tend to be pretty deadpan, and so sometimes, like, when I pick up on stuff, it doesn't necessarily sound like it, but... Shame. Shame. Boo this man. Alright, buddy. Feel free to turn the fuck around whenever it's convenient. Or are you one of those that just doesn't turn around? Oh, we gonna get you now. We gonna get you. We gonna get you. That... No. N no. No. That's what I wanted. Thank you. I don't know why the fucking game decided to screw me like that. Horse. Horse, go away. Horse. Horse. I... Horse, are you fucking serious right now? Are you fucking serious right now, horse? Are you fucking serious, horse? Jesus, tap dancing phrase. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. Fucking horse, man. Now everybody has to die. This isn't on me, chat. This is on horse. Horse did this. fucking did this. All this blood is on horse's hands. I- All this blood is on horse's hooves. Boss, that's a serious injury. 
I'm aware, thank you. Oh, god damn it. I was try like I was in the middle of strafing back into cover. Chat, remember how I said I wasn't very good at this game? Not on these settings, anyway. Fucking horse. Fucking horse, man. Boss, the Soviet engineer is being held prisoner at the Watson barracks. So here's here's the problem that I have with oh god, and here comes Travis with his good a cunts. Well, good a cunt to you, Travis. Good to see you. Glad to have you on a what is Sunday for you. Hopefully the weekend has been treating you well so far. Uh, but yeah, this is uh this is not how this was intended to go. So remember, based on the rules of the playthrough. Once we get to the combat team and the permadeath stuff starts kicking in, the only reason we're going to be using Snake is to acquire personnel. We will not be using Snake to do missions. That tooltip try to explain reloading your weapon to you. Yes. Remember what era this game was from, Kaloski. Uh, th this was from the era of... Two hour long tutorials that explain how a fucking jump button works. Because apparently every developer and publisher on the planet assumed that everyone playing games had suffered some sort of massive brain damage. Like, I don't need you to explain the concept of reloading a gun. I just need to know what button to do it with. Hopefully it doesn't rain. That would be a Wait, what? I'm confused, Travis. You're saying hopefully it doesn't it doesn't rain, that would be a nice Sunday. So like, are you saying it would be nice if it rained? And if so, then why are you saying hopefully it doesn't rain? Or are you saying that it's raining now or has been raining and you're hoping that it stops? I'm confused. Yeah, we are, in fact, playing Metal Gear Solid V. Badly, but we are playing. Uh, yes, Lone Wolfie. I, I am, in fact, saying uh, that not every person playing a game has suffered some kind of brain trauma or hemorrhage that prevents them from using their frontal lobe. That is, in fact, what I'm saying. Controversial statement, I know. Yeah, so for those of you that may be just coming into the stream and aren't aware of what we're doing, uh, exclamation mark OSP is a breakdown of the current hardcore OSP challenge that I'm doing and uh, the the rules of the playthrough, so to speak. One of the big ones is no Fulton. No Fulton. Don't whistle for the horse. Yeah, D don't whistle for horse this time. Uh, that would be probably the best advice I've ever received in a Twitch chat. All right, just just to avoid potential shenanigans as I try to extract this guy. Again, this. This has not been my finest hour in terms of gameplay. As someone with probably close to four or five hundred hours in the Phantom Pain, this this is not my finest hour. Uh, where is it here? I think it's here. You've entered a Down, stupid. Always keep an escape route in mind when you head indoors. 
If you get surrounded, you'll have nowhere to run. Thank you, Miller, for explaining the concept of CQB to the guy who fucking invented it. This might not have been a great idea, in hindsight. Like, I know what I intended to do here, but I have failed spectacularly. Kim has a great feel you could just lose hundreds of- oh yeah, for sure. Absolutely. I do, I do, yes, now. I like this game quite a bit. And Infinite Heaven makes it a whole lot better, in my opinion. Like, the, the different ways that you're able to modify the way that the game works um, is a huge boon. Huge boon. Whose bones? Your bones. Bones. I like that word, boon. I'd be surprised if Snake invented modern CQB. I mean, that's kind of the whole point, is, it like, if you're not familiar with the Metal Gear lore, uh, the, the Metal Gear lore essentially says that the boss, i.e. Big Boss's mentor, and Big Boss before he was Big Boss, worked together for the CIA slash NSA slash, you know, XXA agencies, and during their time serving together, essentially developed what would become CQB or CQC. Like, he didn't invent it himself, but he helped invent it. Now, I'm really hoping that this donkey will get the hell out of there, but because I really, I really need to, like... I need to get out of this corner, and I can't do that when Butthole over here is hiding in the fucking side. See, I might be able to get away with this. Shenanigans! Yep. Nighty night. Okay, that's not gonna be an instant alert phase. But it is gonna get their attention. There we go. It, it absolutely was not my intent to kill that man. It just sort of worked out that way. Yeah, everybody's gonna freak out. Oh my god, our man's is dead. Yep. Yep. I don't feel great about it, but it that that's that's a thing that happened. By the way, chat, you guys will have to let me know um if the brightness is good enough for you. Uh, again, I do have the gamma turned up for y'all. Uh, but I also know it's very dark. So if you guys can't see what's going on, let me know. Exactly, Travis. If he didn't want to die, he would have been somewhere else. So unfortunately, that's going to put the base on an alert... Well, not an alert status, but a caution status. Uh, and that's not good. That is very not good, in fact. Shit, I forgot about that staircase. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make sure that this guy doesn't get back up. A dumpster. Looks big enough to hide somebody. You could stash a downed enemy in there, or hide in it yourself. Just don't stand too close to me afterward. Alright. 
Yep. No, I, I, def I, I hear you, buddy. I know. It, it's, it's a whole thing. I, I know. Alright, I was gonna check on that guy, but... Alright, let's go. Shite. Son of a bitch. Take a nap, buddy. I saw that petrol bomb. Right. Now can I go? For my life, I created thousands of such things. Listen, I know you're excited about this whole freedom thing, but you're you're kind of fucking up the the stealth action thing that I got going on. Сделай гигантские руки для новой боевой платформы, они мне сказали. Я ведь инженер-бионик. А они посадили меня сделать заводные игрушки. All right, now. Я этого не вынес. И поэтому сбежал. Но они меня поймали. Shit. Теперь, может, меня ждет платье. Ты меня спас. I see King Panzer. Hydration incoming. I, I will pause for that one, though. Yeah, like, I, I know I've said this before, but again, I always say this for, like, new people or people that are just passing through, but, like, if the sound isn't good or if the video's not good, like, if it's too dark, you can't see anything, let me know. Um, I'm I'm always interested in that kind of feedback because yeah I, I want you guys to have the the best experience possible the best viewing and listening experience possible so uh, if that is ever not the case definitely let me know. Okay, so you're gonna go back, and now it's time. <laughs> All right. We're not home free just yet. We're definitely not home free just yet. But we're in the home stretch. And that's that's our man's that I just knocked down, calling in to let his people know that he got attacked. The guy moved, yeah. No, that, that's what I was telling you about. Uh, if you end up with a alert status, then uh, dudes that were laying down on the ground will get up. Now, the shitty thing is, I'm not going to be able to go down the same way I came up. And again, these guys being on alert is not going to help matters. But, I might be able to get away with a little Skyrim mountain climb. And then we need to... There we go. Yeah, his poor knees. His poor knees. Uh, yeah, it could be on your end, yes. Now, it could also be on my end. I, I do have some delays going on with the game, and, uh, 
that kind of stuff. So it's very, very possible that it could be a stream thing or it could be a you thing. Hard to know for sure. Where, where did I? Okay, I'm not quite there yet. And I am Arkadon rolling into the channel on a Saturday date saying hello. Well, good to see you, Arkadon. Glad you could join us for another stream. Thanks for coming back. And hopefully the weekend has been treating you well so far. Is it... Where, where are you actually going to be? Okay, you're going to be over here. You're going to be right next to Horse. The obstruction is me, dumbass. All right, we out. So is it the game audio and the game video that's decent? Did that horse just get balloon? <laughs> Sherzel, yes. Um, I, I assume that you are new to the Metal Gear franchise if you're asking that question. So first of all, welcome to the stream. And hopefully you're having an outstanding weekend. We're always glad to have new folks roll through. Uh, but yeah, you, you definitely have to be new to the Metal Gear franchise. So the horse got sucked up on a balloon, which is actually part of the Fulton recovery system which, if you're not familiar with your military equipment history, is a thing that actually existed and was tested, but ultimately not adopted. Um, in the Metal Gear universe, because Kojima is a military nerd, uh, he decided to run with that. And the engineer we rescued has been extremely they use the Fulton extensively the in this part of the franchise. The thing is, his specialty is in mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic Uh, arm. yes, Kolosky. I, I headshotted a guy and did not get an alert. Um, so the way that the alert system works in Metal Gear Solid 5 is whenever you fire a shot, it's not like previous uh, Metal Gear games where you just immediately get an alert the second you fire a gunshot. Um, if you fire multiple shots very quickly, like full auto fire, um, they will definitely go on alert. But if you fire just a single shot in isolation, uh, they will instead send people to investigate and the alert level will go up in that area So the soldiers will be on alert at that point They're not gonna be full alert like actively looking for the enemy, but they'll be paying more attention. So If you don't know how Metal Gear and specifically uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 works. There's actually three different levels of alert status for the enemy soldiers There's the sneak status which is just the default status when nothing has happened. There's the caution status. I sometimes call it alert. Um, I normally refer to it as alert and combat. So there's the alert status where the soldiers are on alert. They're, they're on a heightened state of readiness, either because of something you did or something else that has happened. Uh, like if they go to check on a prisoner and the prisoner is missing, they'll go to alert status. Um, if they hear a gunshot, even if they don't find anything where, when they investigate, they still go on alert status. Um, if they find a dead body, alert status. Uh, so there's a lot of things that can elevate you to that level two, that alert status. Once they hit that alert status, their vision and hearing increase. Then there's the level above that, which I call combat status. The game refers to it as alert status. Uh, I call it combat status. Um, and that's when you are actively engaged in combat. That is when the enemy has seen you, has reported it, they know you are there and they are actively trying to kill you. Um, and in combat status, their vision and hearing goes up even more and so does their aggression. So once you're in combat status, you generally don't get reflex mode anymore. 
Um, so that's that's a basic overview of how the the different alert statuses uh, affect the gameplay. So like, for example, if I go in and you see the little thing that shows up when somebody notices me. At that point, that specific soldier goes into the alert status and they get buffs to their sight and hearing, which is why you immediately want to try to divert their attention. Now, if they go into alert status and don't... Like, if they see more stuff that alerts them, or they hear gunshots, or something that, that doesn't let their status reset, then they'll radio it in, and they'll tell somebody, hey, I saw somebody, or I heard a gunshot, and then the area goes on alert status. The way I have it set up in Infinite Heaven, once an area goes on alert, it does not go back down. They will never go back to sleep. So once the alert has been triggered in an area, they will always be at a heightened state of readiness until you reset the mission. And that's part of making the game more difficult.